What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about winch maintenance because it's one of those things that we often overlook and sometimes forget to do. We just got off the Florida Adventure Trail where we submerged our winch in some dirty, disgusting water and then we drove down some super dusty trails and what happens is we start to get a bunch of dirt and grit between our winch fibers and that acts like little razor blades kind of prematurely wearing that winch line and we want to make sure it's there when we need it. So today we're going to be looking at our winch line, cleaning our winch line, and then respooling it to make sure that when we need it, and if we need it, it's there and it won't prematurely fail on us. I think one of the worst feelings is starting your winch pull and seeing that your winch line snapped and now you're stuck and you have to resort to other things to get yourselves out. So we wanna make sure that doesn't happen to us. So we're gonna go through, clean our winch line, inspect it, and we're gonna talk about the things that we're looking for. So come along with us and, and we'll show you what to do. So you might've guessed that step one is to unspool your winch line completely. You wanna grab all that line out. And as we're doing that, we're making sure that it's not hung up and pinched on anything. And then we're gonna get that stage so we can start washing our winch line. After we wash it, that's gonna start our inspection process. So we got the winch line all spooled out. I think you were able to see, and I hope you were able to see just how much filth and dirt came out of that line just unspooling it. Left a couple wraps on the drum. That's gonna allow us to re-spool this in a, in a good way and make sure we have a firm, tight grip on that drum when we do it under pressure. But right now, we filled a bucket with water and some gentle detergent. You don't really even need the detergent if you don't wanna use it, but I wouldn't use any harsh chemicals. Certainly wouldn't use bleach. I've seen a few times online where they talk about putting the whole winch line in the washing machine would not do that. You're gonna end up cutting fibers accidentally. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start systematically dunking this in the water, kind of pressing the winch line together, opening up those braids, and just flushing all that filth out of there to make sure that we don't have those tiny little sandy razor blades just eating away at our line. So we're gonna start that process now. All we're doing is kind of squeezing and moving things around. And this is gonna take a little while, but it's worth the effort to put into it to make sure that our winch line is nice and secure and it's lasting a long time for us. You can see how quickly this water is just getting super cloudy. So we're gonna systematically work down this winch line a little bit at a time all the way down to the end and then we're gonna go ahead and inspect it and dry it out. Hey, something I was thinking about while I was doing this is those of you in the saltwater environments or those of you that go on the beach and uh, have some fun out there in the sun and uh, get all that sand and salt water in this, you want to freshwater rinse your winch line as much as possible. Get that salt and that sediment built up uh, off of your winch line. What that's going to do is start eating away at these fibers and salt water is really, really hard on synthetic materials. Uh, if you're running a steel winch line, even more important to... Uh, to inspect that, get that cleaned up, and, and probably do some sort of corrosion preventative on there, because salt water is gonna eat those fibers really quickly. So, just something to think about, and start thinking about the things you need to do to your winch line to make sure that it doesn't wear prematurely and it stays nice and strong for you. All right, so we went through and kind of systematically, inch by inch, kind of press those fibers apart. We got the water flowing through them and all the braids and things like that, and then uh, just kind of swish the water around, flush all that stuff out of there. I don't know if you can tell, but look how dirty and disgusting this water is. Uh, this was a long time coming, should have been done a couple trips ago, but I'm glad we got it done now. Now I'm gonna go through and just kinda walk this winch rope that we've organized on the driveway here and start looking for uh, any cut fibers and things like that. When you're inspecting your synthetic winch line, some hairies that come off of it might look a little fuzzy, that's okay, and that's actually gonna protect your winch line a little bit. And, we don't have much of that because we haven't had the winch very long. We haven't used it very often. But when you want to start looking for is cut fibers, uh, fibers that are sticking up out of that winch line itself. And that's going to be areas of concern for you. You also want to look for where it's pinched or maybe uh, folded over and kind of inspect those areas a little more closely. Those are going to be your areas of concern. If you don't have those, you can re-spool and you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. All 
Uh, so we inspected our windshield and we don't have any issues. We had a few areas that looked like they might have been pinched over, but under careful inspection, we realized that uh, it's going to be okay. There's no issues there. Nothing's compromised. So uh, a quick inspection. It takes about 20 minutes to wash your whole winch line. Something that's super, super important, but doesn't take a long time to do. So don't overlook this. We're going to go ahead and spool it up in the driveway here, but what we need to do is go out to a trail or use a friend with a truck and put this winch line under pressure when we re-spool it. And that way it grips down on that drum nice and tight. So when you go for your first pull, it's all set up, ready to go. But we don't have that ability right now. So we're gonna go ahead and spool it up and then we'll hit the trail and we'll do it before we get into anything crazy. that's it quick and easy we're all set up now to hit the trail again and and we can't wait to do that we're gonna start getting back on the fat here in a couple weeks the Florida Adventure Trail so we know that our winch is set for us the only thing we have to do now is spool it up the proper way I have a video on that I'll drop it in the description below you guys can follow it over there to make sure you're re-spooling your winch the proper way so you're also set up and ready to go and hopefully you don't need it anytime soon uh, but if you do you'll know that it'll be there for you hey, if you find this information super helpful I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe uh, hit that notification bell, share it with your friends and kind of spread the word about what we're, what we're doing here and building this community. And I mean, I can't, I can't thank you guys enough for that support. Until next time, I can't wait to see you guys on the trail. <laughs>